Yo, what's going on today? I'm gonna show you how to do this. Look at that. Whoa. Bam. See that? Everybody asking me how to do that shit, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. <laughs> do mine because I'm gonna upgrade the fuse only thing the the main switch for the fogs is gonna be deleted so you're just gonna use one thing so if your fog light go out you have to like unplug the other side that's that's the only bad thing about it but other than that it should look nice at night if you want just to have the fogs and the parking light on it looks nice so let's get it man let's get it first things first remove this off your fuse. I mean, this is where your fuses are, relays, and all that stuff. If you want, you could uh, disconnect their negative battery, negative terminal, if you want. Ow. Let's take this off. This whole thing gotta come out. So there's a clip right here. You push out, and you push up. Oh, shit. Push up, okay, that. And this is mine right here. This is my setup. The relay. Like that. I'm supposed to use this relay right here. And a fuse. Separate fuse. Just in case, you know, something happens, it blows up over here. The fuse blows. Just change that. So I got a new one right here. You can get this from AutoZone, Advance, Auto. This is this is good enough. This is way better than this one. This one this one was look a little too cheap. This was all I had before, so let's uh take this off man. Let's take everything off. So the relay you will need will be the, the first one right there at the bottom. You go at the bottom, it will be the first one. That's the one you take out. Right there, bam. That'll be one, two, and three. You take out the first one. Alright. You're gonna need some 3M tape. I fuck with 3M tape. It's good tape. Um you need your uh, you know wire splitter. Something to squeeze the uh uh whatever you call that um I forgot what you call those shits, but um you know what I'm talking about <laughs> when we get started. And yeah, that's it. And probably some dikes to cut the wire. Yeah, you might need some dikes. Some of these wires I'm gonna reuse because it's just corroded over here. Mine is corroded. You see that shit? That shit burnt. This shit is burnt. You see that? That's probably why my fogs ain't turning on right now. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna reuse that one. I'm gonna change this one. Definitely, definitely to this one. See that? See the difference? Big difference. Way better. This one. Way better. All right. Let's take these off. This is how you gonna look at it. Put it like this. So you. All right. So this 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 is the one right here. You gonna connect to the uh the parking lamp uh wire that's over here. Uh, right there. We'll get deep into that. Um, this right here, that, that's the ground. This is the ground right here. It's the ground wire. So you will, you will ground that somewhere on the engine or something. I put mine right here. And this goes, the top one goes to the, this one right here. This is for the, the fuse holder. So you put the fuse holder uh, wire here. Connect it there. And put it on the top, on the, the top, the bottom of the right here. This will be it right here. This is the fuse holder. That will be it. And this will be this wire right here. It will go to the top of the fuse box. All right, so let's get, let's disconnect this one. Cause these this shit's corroded, man. Look at that. You see that wire right here? Yeah, 
it's no good so I'm gonna get some new one of these and yeah connect them you're gonna need one of these whatever you call these shits you're gonna need some of these to plug in uh, a fuse box and the uh, one for a relay it's for the relay this will be for the fuse box one so I probably I probably I probably won't need this because I already have mine's already connected so we're gonna use this if I find another one somewhere if you, if you could get one of these with a the protector on it that'd be good so it don't uh kill each other mine is naked yeah. okay took all the wires off I'm gonna keep these wires because this one's not corroded as much. I'm gonna keep this one. This is for the parking light. And I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this wire. This wire that goes to the fuse box. I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna just cut that and make a new uh, tip. I'm gonna cut this tip off and put another one because this one is garbage. Look at that. That one and that's it. I already cut this one. Let's start with the, the the fuse holder. Let's put that on the fuse holder. This is the fuse holder right here. Right here. Let's uh put that with this like this. Let's put that together, put some duct tape on it. Now you have it like that. Wrap it with the uh, duct tape. Then do the other side. I'm going to show you the other side. It's, the other side is different. Let's wrap this up. Alright, I'm going to put the same fuse that I had on the other one. It was a 30 amp. That's a good fuse to put on there. Alright. Put the fuse on there. As soon as you put it on there, you can close it. it up should be good see this is way better the one before was out in the open I might duct tape this one so this shit don't open alright now let's do the other side let's do this side you gotta, you gotta do the um yeah you gotta put you gotta put this on the other side of the fuse holder right here Okay, I extended this wire because this thing was messed up and got too short. So I extended it, put this at the tip, and yeah, it's like that. That's the fuse. It's the fuse holder one. This is the one that goes in the. This is the wire that goes in the fuse box on the top. Okay. All right, so let's wire this up. Remember, I kept these the same. It's the ground. The ground goes, it's the ground wire goes there. I put, I put a hole through the, the box to put the wire through. Went up right here, right here in the engine. This is the ground right here. So I made a hole. You don't have to make a hole, but I just made a hole so it don't poke out like under the thing. That was the only way I thought of. So, yeah, and this is the this is the wire right here. You should splice with the blue. This is the, this is the red and blue wire right here. It's the, this is the parking light, tail light, tail lamp. You see that? The red and blue wire, red with a blue stripe. Splice those. Splice splice a wire to that. Extend it out. Put this on it. And yeah, that's it. Now let's take the relay. Let's take the relay and put it together. Okay, now listen closely. This is the relay. It's the relay right here. Okay, you see the relay? Now, 
Let's take. Let's take the um, power wire. Like the one that goes here, this one. It's the power wire. This is where um, you get the power from. You're gonna put that right here. The first one. See that? Look closely. Look close. You're gonna put that wire right here. That's the first wire. Check. First wire to the red and blue wire. Now, this is the ground right here. Let's take the ground, connect it there. Ground wire. Ground is the ground. Ground wire. Okay. The ground wire is good. Now, let's take the the wire that's on the top you put on the top of the Let's see if you can see it you see that you see that you see on the top that's the top wire Let's take the top wire for me this is the yellow wire top wire and put it right at the bottom this one right here this one then I should do the middle one first but whatever yeah, so the bottom wire, to me, for me, that's the yellow wire. It goes to the top. You see the top? It goes to the top part. Um, now, let's take the fuse holder part right here. And put that one right in the middle. It's the last one. Right in the middle. Like, like so. Should be just like that. Could, could go down a little more. Okay, so when you do that, I might, I might put some duct tape over here, just just to be safe, you know, I don't want to wrap it in these touch, so I'm going to show you how I do it. This is how I taped it, so they don't touch, they, they look like it won't touch, but I, I don't know, I didn't trust it, so... I'm going to tape this whole thing completely so no water or corrosion or whatever get in there. This is how I duct taped it. So I wrapped it up a lot, a whole lot. Protected. I did this one too. Just I just didn't want it to open. I don't want it to open while it's in there. So put that around there. Now let's tuck this in it. Let's tuck this in and um, wrap it up, man. And test it out. But just to make sure, let's make sure it works before we do all this bullshit for no reason. Okay, so when you turn it on, I mean, you probably know, but it's, that's, the, uh, that's the turn on everything. This does not matter no more. <laughs> on, off, on, off, shit's not working no more because we deleted that. Uh, so we're just going to keep it here. The second to last one. Bam. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at that shit. Yeah. Made sure it worked, so let's put this back together. Put this down first, just like that. Now let's tuck this in. You could tuck, you could tuck it in there. There's a lot of space in there. Tuck that in there. Put the wire. Put the fuse here. I meant the fuse, not the fuse. The uh, the relay, put it there. Put the rest of the wiring like right here. Like there, just like that. Okay. Tuck this in. That's the ground wire, by the way. See? See? Just like that. See, I make it look clean, so when I put the cover over, 
this is not you know being closed by this so I made a hole right here I made a hole there so I could just feed it there and bring it up here okay so let's put the cover back on there like that once you're done make sure you double check man double check look at it. double check they work yeah uh yeah put everything back together and that's it man i doubt you seen that anywhere it's my way of doing it when you got the secret and i shared with y'all how i did it some people wire it wire it like put the parking light like if they use a wire to put the parking light to the fog light it's uh to me that's a little risky so i did it that way if they don't turn on something's going on you can do something right go back to the video and check recheck it and that's it man that is it